World AIDS Day is celebrated on December 1st every year, but upon this disease, there are a lot of myths that need to be busted. So in this video, we have a doctor that will explain all about AIDS, treatments, symptoms, and of course, the myths that are going around this disease. We all know that HIV is caused by a virus called as the human immunodeficiency virus. Uh, which is of two different types, called as HIV-1 and HIV-2. This particular virus, once it enters the body, uh, which would be either by sexual transmission or by intravenous uh, medications or drugs which have been taken in, generally seen in IV drug abusers, if it's shared needles, or it could be mother to child transmission. Now, these are the three most common forms of transmission of this particular virus. Uh, and um, when we talk about this particular virus, what is important to know that once it enters the body, it doesn't really go away. It is known to inherently affect the immune system and it tends to stay within our body system hidden somewhere, even when we have treated it with medications. And that chronicity of this particular disease is what is a little more scarier because that's something which causes us to give medications which could be required for a lifetime. Now, if these patients are not treated, then we we'll end up having a progression of the condition to what we call as AIDS, which is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, wherein you are more prone for infections time and again. Now, these infections could be as simple as um, your recurrent cough, cold, fevers, or diarrhea, or could be as complicated as tuberculosis, different types of meningitis, called as cryptococcal meningitis, and uh, some AIDS defining illnesses like uh, certain pneumonias, called as PCP pneumonias, and so on. Most of the patients who actually come to us in the initial phase may not even be symptomatic. So most of the patients in the initial first couple of years may have no symptoms at all. So there is no way for us to know that you have uh, HIV unless and until there are certain infections which could give us a clue that the patient could have a little immunodeficiencies which could also come in because of certain other infections or because of certain other conditions like say for example diabetes or patients with uh, medications which they are taking for reducing their immunity like for cancer patients uh, etc but uh, conditions like herpes zoster presence of recurrent oral ulcers in the form of fungal infection uh, tuberculosis these are conditions wherein we would probably be liking to test the patient even for knowing their hiv status by and large most of the patients now can have a good quality of life and a good lifespan and almost close to a normal lifespan with the medications. The earlier you diagnose and the earlier you start treatment, the better is the kind of effect that you would see with the uh, patient's uh, immune profile. And they then tend to do extremely well. It is important that certain um, medications uh, which we have advised the patient should be continued without fail. The timing of the medicine should be the same on a daily basis. You shouldn't uh, fluctuate in your timings, neither should you skip your doses. These are very paramount in order to keep the patient stable. These patients also need to do certain repeated blood tests and these are not too many. They are just done once in every six months. So the hospital visits are also to the bare minimum. Now, uh, this is a completely controllable disease of late. We call it as one of the chronic diseases like what you would have with your conditions like say for example diabetes wherein you need to take your medications on a daily basis but you tend to stay stable most of the time. So what we have today is far 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 better than what we had about 20 years back. So there is nothing to really worry if you are God forbid are HIV positive we still have means and methods in which we can keep it under control. So I'm sure now you must have understood as to what exactly AIDS mean and how it gets transmitted to one person to another, the treatment and myths around it. So this was Toshi and you were watching India.com. And more such content, you can simply log into our website India.com and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.